Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management Channel on YouTube. I hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. We have an awesome episode today. SoFi stock is up a whopping 13%. So we're going to be looking at what's going on with the company and like always, should you buy this company. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And guys, if you want to learn more about investing, money management, trading, stocks, credit cards, I have a blog where we talk about everything money. That's what we say. I'll put it down below. It's completely free for you guys to sign up with the newsletter so you guys can stay up to date with pretty much everything money related. So I'll put that down below. Check it out. So now that jump into it, I hope you guys all enjoy it. And if you guys do, hit the like button, subscribe. So let's go. So starting off, what is Sophie, right? Sophie is a fintech company. So it's a financial technology company. It's virtually an online bank that offers a whole bunch of fantastic financial services, such as debit and credit cards. It offers a brokerage so you guys can buy and sell stocks and even cryptocurrency. Not to mention one of their biggest money makers is actually loans and loan refinance. You guys can get all types of loans from student loans, you can get personal loans, business loans, and that's where they make a bulk of their money. So today the stock jumped up a whopping 13%. And normally when a company moves that much that quick, you'll have something called a fundamental catalyst. This is pretty much when the company announces something. It could be an earnings, it could be an FDA or a FDA disapproval or acceptance or something along those lines. It's pretty much when the company just announces something. And let me tell you, they announced an earnings report. So this is when the company comes out and they give you all of their numbers, their revenue, the cash on hand, all the stuff, all the nerds like myself care about. They were expected to bring in about $425 million, which seems like so much money, but they actually brought in $443 million. So beating expectations by about $20 million. Anytime you have a beat earnings, what this is going to do is it's going to cause investors to invest right? They want to invest in the next Apple, the next Tesla. So that's kind of what they're thinking. All right, this company's back on track. Let's buy, let's buy, let's buy. And this is what causes the stock to have these crazy moves is just because investors are buying in on the hype. Now, I understand $443 million seems like so much money, but the issue that SoFi faces is they're still not profitable. Anytime a company's not profitable, that's kind of a recipe for disaster. The reason why is because it can't survive, right? You need you need the company to be profitable, to use their profits, to invest in the business, to grow it, and to help their investors out. Right now, the company still lost money, but it's just still, it's, it's not as much as analysts thought. So that's pretty much why the stock rose that much that quick in a single day. But should you buy SoFi? So for me, SoFi carries a ton of potential. The average analyst price target range is anywhere from $5, which is on the low end, because the stock's about $6, all the way up to about $10, which would be about a 46% return. All of the analysts say to either hold or to buy SoFi. So for me, I think that's a huge statement for a lot of analysts to say, because if they weren't interested or didn't care about the company, they'd put a sell on it. So for me, SoFi carries a lot of potential. A good strategy that I would recommend is one, keep it under one to 2% of your portfolio. Meaning for every $100 you have invested into other stuff, stocks, assets, bonds, ETFs, put a dollar, two dollars into SoFi. The reason why you do that that little really is because this is still a growth stock that's not profitable and is very, very volatile. You'll notice the stock chart is just at a massive downward trend. So sellers are still in control of this company. Right now we're seeing a nice positive possible reversal. So I'm super excited to see where this thing goes. That's my strategy, dollar cost average. Keep it under one, 2% of your portfolio size and, and let this thing ride. I think the potential is there. I think they're a competitor with every brick and mortar bank and online bank. And right now, pretty much another issue that SoFi is having, but I think that this could be a positive, is right now there's no, there's no incentives for people to pay off their student loans. There's a lot of student loan forgiveness and stuff along those lines. So I definitely think that once the government pretty much starts demanding people to pay back their student loans, we'll see a huge rise in revenue with SoFi because that's where they make a bulk of their money. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care, everyone.